Welcome back, everybody, to another video. Pretty much the topic is, can you get away uh, with using your regular bookshelf as your high channels for Adobe Atmos? Going to give you guys my sound experience with Adobe Atmos enabled speakers versus using a regular bookshelf or even a satellite speaker for your high channels. Before we get into it, to answer the question, both are going to be yeses. Using bookshelf speakers for Adobe Atmos, it is good enough. And Atmos enable speakers is necessary for the optimal Atmos experience. I'll explain uh, more of that in a moment. Ideally, you would want to use Adobe Atmos enable speakers in a downfiring position as your setup, which means that your high channel speakers will be facing downwards at an angle towards your listening position. And if you have bookshelf speakers, and you're not, you're not able to mount it up on the wall. It needs to be placed above your ear level on something high. Same thing goes for satellite speakers, but for satellite speakers, it should be easier to mount that on the wall. What you see in this video is my regular day-to-day -day usage of my speakers. First setup is a 5.2.4 using Adobe Atmos enabled diaphragm speaker by Clips model number R-41SA for the front heights. For the back height, it's my Sony model SS-CE, CSE, SS-CSE, also a Dolby Atmos enabled speaker. Those are powered with the Marantz AV7706. For the regular bookshelf, which we are comparing the this video to, it is by B and W Bowers and Wilkins, model number six eight six. It's a it's a pretty old bookshelf. Nonetheless, it's one of my favorite bookshelves, and I still use it. Um, and I use those for my Atmos. That is that setup is a five point one point two powered with the RCAM AVR 550. Now, I have tested these bookshelves with my Xbox Series X console using game title such as Battlefield 2042 and Modern Warfare 2019 because those games have all the high channels in Atmos. They get used a lot. Between the two, they both provide great sounds, very similar to one another. The only difference that I can tell for an Atmos track for sounds of an object shooting downwards. So if an object were to shoot downwards coming down up top towards the ground, the downfiring Atmos enabled speaker, which is in a the the that the doubly atmos enabled speaker in a downwards firing position will be superior in that aspect. But in regards to using bookshelves for Adobe Atmos, it is good enough for sounds coming for your high channels. And you can get away with not using Atmos enabled speakers, but for for the closest Atmos experience, if possible, it is better to use Adobe Atmos enabled speakers. Simply for the fact that it, you're rarely going to have objects coming down towards the ground. But if you do, that's why you're going to need a Adobe, enable, Adobe enabled speaker because of that angle. And and of course in a down firing position. That way you'll get that best object based sound closest to your listening position. Now if you only have bookshelves for your height channels, if small enough, putting it at a downwards angle would be the ultimate choice for using a non enable Atmos speakers. So in summary, if you don't have an Atmos enabled speaker, as long as you place your bookshelves up high, it will have an Atmos sound feel. But downfiring using Adobe 
Atmos enabled speaker is the best way to go, especially if you're going to game in Dolby Atmos. That pretty much wraps it up. Thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Hooded Dragons out.